the local Doppler radar. the local Doppler radar. All right, welcome back to our coverage of severe weather. There is a live picture of uh, ongoing storms in Clarksburg, Maryland. We've had very few rain today. We've had flooding. A tornado warning has been issued for your area. A tornado warning has been issued for your area. And uh, towards the Beltway in Andrews Air Force Base. Welcome back, Carl Parker, along with Jim Cantori. And uh, Jim, as you said, cell merger going on here, and we are definitely seeing rotation in that storm. Yeah, and you know, thank goodness there are other properties than just the radar here, because you, if you just look at this from a, from a radar perspective, you say, oh, it's just raining everywhere, maybe it's some gusty winds. But until you look at the infrastructure of the storm, you really can't tell. And even the hard, this is hard to analyze too, Carl. But you can clearly see, and I mean, you just focus the on notch these notches. There. Mm -hmm. There's a notch coming in earlier. This notch was bent way down here so you know one, one could argue that there was something going on in this lead interface uh, that notch is now being blown up and through so this thing's actually cycling now I think a little bit but if we look at this high resolution uh, radar from Andrews Air Force Base I believe actually no this is DCA this is their tower oh, I'm, thank you for pushing that uh, you can see right in through here this broad rotation uh, even a little bit better on so right there near Port Washington uh, to the west of Friendly and that's right where the apex of that warning is mm -hmm. and there's no question that that's what they're doing in the, in the weather service office they're looking at these radars at the airport so the mm. airports are providing us with with even higher resolution data uh, that you even can't see on, on just the regular sterling radar. and we actually saw a tiny little area of rotation there that may have been uh, a gust nato or something like that Let's yeah, get back to that. It may Sorry. have been. Uh, good news is for Miami, if you're watching us, we had that uh, that warning drop for you, so we're happy to see that. But again, guys, just these higher reflective areas, this is where the action is. If, if I wish I could step this back a little bit because it was really, really high just to the south of uh, Port Washington here, or Fort Washington. Now it's moved on off to the north uh, west of Friendly. So again, it's coming uh, toward that south beltway. And mm -hmm. before we get there, look at this rain. Just tremendous rainfall. And some of these rainfall rates, again, approaching about two inches per hour here, Carl, as this moves to the northeast. So this is the Washington stuff. That's moved up uh, on the same A tornado shore. warning has been issued for your area. A tornado warning out uh, for the Baltimore area as well. And it looks like, again, this storm is rapidly flying to the north. Uh, the rain is here, but the worst part of the storm is actually still down here just to the south of Lansdowne. So this is where, if there's any rotation or anything going on, it's right in this area that's going to push up toward Baltimore uh, probably within the next 10, 20 minutes or so. And again, you're watching for that little...